Hi, I'm Catherine of Gamecast.net and I'm just going to do a shorter, well, maybe a quick unboxing, I imagine quick, of uh, something that very recently came out, came out last Friday. Um, however, my copy has only just arrived and it's the uh, Mario All Stars 25th Anniversary edition of the game. Uh, so of course, anyone who has had Mario All Stars in the past, it was of course a SNES compilation on the um, SNES of all the p older Mario titles, so Super Mario Bros. 1, 2, 3, as well as the Lost Levels. Um, so this is quite a nice little thing. Of course it would have been nicer if they put Mario World in it as well, or perhaps some of the other Mario titles. Um, but it makes sense, I suppose, commemorating it with uh, a re-release of a compilation that already existed. So it's quite nice. Um, it's got a gold finish on the the lettering as such. Not the Peggy, but on here. So it tells you what you get inside. Um, it's got the same nice gold writing on the side. Sadly gotten a bit bashed up in the post. And then uh, there's the back of it there. So what's quite cute, if you notice here, and on the other side here, um, they've made it so you can have like a uh, old school style what would you call it way for it to hang on a shelf so it's got it on the inside as well so it's there I won't be doing any of that of course because I will be keeping it as it comes um, but yeah so it's got a lot of card at the top to get it in and then the game is just two wee boxes so there's the the card it would have been cute if they put some polystyrene at the bottom uh, and made this slightly larger than the size of these um, but then that would be annoying for shafts as well well it's also quite nice if you notice it's uh, slightly raised you see there on the light, on the box uh, so you then get two Mario All Stars <laughs> sorry two Mario All Stars, I won't, I won't balance it again detailing the levels, the, well not the levels, the games you get um, it does have two player support And it also, of course, has the lost levels. Uh, so you get all your usual stuff. Nintendo VIP points, instruction manual. Oh, that's quite nice. And they tried to keep the the old look. So it is quite nice. They've they have done a whole instruction book in colour. So they've got enemies in there, got items, and everything you need to know. A nice control layout. It's all got similar colours layouts, well, colour style to um, the original SNES Mario's. SNES and NES Mario's, which is quite nice. Um, and so then you've got. Just spin that around. Uh, quite a nice looking disc that it's got as well. Uh, so that's the game. And then you get this, which is like your, your Mario history stuff. So. In goes got a NES with Mario on the screen, 25th anniversary, and then about the uh, the, well, the main titles really in uh, Mario's career, uh, excluding all like the golfs and everything else on the side. Um, and it's got a little box for uh, who knows what's next. So you then get a soundtrack in the red box. The soundtrack. Which what tells me the track listing? What tell me in here the track listing? Oh, there you go, track listing here. Uh, so it's got 20 tracks. And there's a track listing there for the soundtrack. So it's quite nice. It's got one from pretty much every Mario title, although mainly the themes. Uh, it's quite cool. It's got the Delfino Plaza music from uh, Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, which I think is awesome. Um, and then it's just got like brief stuff, so you've got lots of different variations of Mario, the uh, timeline for Mario, and you've got. I'm gonna need to turn around. I know, I'll just move forwards slightly without hurting everything. Uh, you've got about the people, Koji Kondo, who of course had to do with uh, Nintendo as well, uh, Zelda as well. Uh, you've got some original. Well, the Famicom game and some kind of blueprinty layouts and then more stuff 
uh, and then the different versions of the discs. So of course, uh, is that is that two? So there have been lost levels. So two on the uh, Famicom Disk System, uh, Super Mario Bros. Three on the Famicom. Super Mario World. Oh, okay, so it's just showing different games. So you've got Super Mario World. And then these, are, of course, English. Uh, Super Mario USA. I don't have that. Oh. oh, okay, that's also Super Mario Bros. 2. So that is Lost Levels, isn't it? No? Oh. Yeah, 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 I was right. So, because this was a disc system, I knew it had to be Lost Levels. And this is, it says just down here that it was uh, actually Lost Levels over here. Because, of course, um, when games come out in Japan and the UK, they t sometimes get different titles. So, like, with uh, Super Mario Bros. 2 being called Super Mario USA in Japan. Got Mario 64, and then some cute little doodles, which I imagine are supposed to be storyboards. But quite a basic storyboards. And you've got Sunshine, and New Super Mario Bros. Galaxy, and New Super Mario Bros. Wii, Galaxy 2, and then some cute pictures. They're cute. Oh, quite nice. And then little Mario hit there. So those are cool. Awesome uh, Tanuki. There. Information flies, little Mario figure, <laughs> and uh, multiple drawings of Mario's hand in different animations. And there's uh, their Nintendo team, or Mario team. It could be a whole mix of uh, people. And then it's got a similar back to the front that it had. It's slightly different, as you can see, a womp. Um, but yeah, so that's that. I mean, you can only buy this as this set, um, which apparently is a limited release, I don't know if it will be. Uh, and it retails at like 20 quid, so it's super cheap. And it's a, it's a nice little thing to have in your collection. Okay, it's not your usual collection, but it's kind of just meant for fans of Mario. Um, if I can get this all back in properly, that'd be awesome. There we go. So yeah, there's that. Um, so as I said, it retails for like 19.99, so it's super cheap. You, I mean, it is just a rehash of All Stars ported to the Wii. Fun. Sorry, it's just a port of All Stars in the end. But um. It's nice every now and again to be able to play your older games on a newer console. Uh, because, of course, you don't get that so often. Uh, yeah, so you get that every now and again. Um, but not that often. And usually, if you do get a, uh, like a re-release version of a game, it will be on like Xbox Live Arcade or something like that, which is not really the same as a uh, physical copy of a game. That's fair. Uh, but yeah, it's so 20 quid. You can buy it in most stores. Um, I'm not sure if it's out in America. Uh, it's out in Japan and the UK or slash Europe, whatever. Um, and yeah, as well as that, of course, you can get the red Nintendo Wii, which is also a 25th anniversary, as well as the DSi XL. That is a Mario one, which is actually quite nice and it's got a uh, little mushroom flower kind of thing going on. So if this was the DSi, it has them just a little one there, it's quite nice. Um, next, my sister's got one, but yeah. So that's cool. Um, I recommend you buy it if you're a Mario fan. Um, or if you want some of those tracks at CD quality. So yeah. Um, and if you're watching this and want to watch my next video, I will have a video up very shortly for... Um, cataclysm, so World of Warcraft Cataclysm. Uh, this is kind of just a, a filler, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, so uh, check it out if you're a Mario fan, and I'm sure I'll give it a little play, even though I played Mario All Stars to death anyway on my snare. Um, so yeah, I will catch you for my next video. Cool See ya!